ladies and gentlemen, the war within is basically here. And if you're wondering how to spend your time playing the game during the early access and the first few weeks, here are a few tips. Let's take a look into the schedule first, because the early access comes on the 22nd or the 23rd, depending where you are, and the global release is on the 26th of August. However, with that we only get heroic dungeons, which I wouldn't even call endgame content. And that's all you can do for two weeks until September 10 comes, season 1 starts, and we get normal and heroic raid plus mythic zero dungeons. We'll have to wait one more week after that to get the mythic crate and the mythic plus dungeons to open. That gives you a lot of time, three weeks without the early access more with it. And one of the few useful things that you can do during this time is level up your characters. You have plenty of time, especially in the first two weeks, to level some ults as well. But first, I would suggest for you to focus on your main. Get it all the way up to level 80 as this unlocks a new achievement that gives you experience bonus to all of your odds that are gonna be leveling within your warband. That buff stacks up to 25% so make sure you're leveling your odds one by one to get the most benefit out of this bonus. When it comes to gear there's very low pressure for you to get good gear in the first two weeks. You can spam heroic dungeons and do low level delves. Which, by the way, now also add a vault slot, so you can definitely run a few of those to have some options, but all the gear that you're going to get from them, from quests and from the Great Vault, is very easily going to get replaced as soon as week 3 hits. However, once that happens and season 1 is live, you want to kill as many bosses in the raid in the first week as you can, preferably on heroic difficulty, and then spend the rest of your time running mythic zeros. The new change here is that Mythic Zeros are now going to be on a daily lockout. Now running 8 Mythic Zeros per day for the whole week is probably going to be quite a tall order, so don't stress out and just do as many as you can, but know that the gear that you get from them is going to help you a little bit for the next week, but it's also going to get very easily replaced. So the biggest tip that I can give you here is don't stress out and push too hard for the first two, even for the first three weeks. Because the real deal and the season starts on September the 17th and you don't want to be burnt out by that time. Instead, you can spend your time doing few other more beneficial things. Even during the early access, you can start working on the main quest line. But while you're doing that, I would also suggest for you to do all the side quests. This will allow you to progress through the expansion and enable some skips for your ults. But then also all the renown that you're going to earn is now account wide. So all the potential upgrades and rewards are also going to be available for your odds. The other big thing that you can do is start leveling your professions. I've made a list with all the characters that I'm planning to play and distributed the professions so I have everything covered. You can start earning knowledge points and gather materials even in the early access which will allow you to do the weekly profession quests once the global release is there. This is going to give you a head start and probably earn you some gold. And speaking of that, my last tip is how to make some huge profit at the start of the expansion. Simply sell every single crafting material that you can on the auction house, as at the start of the expansion prices are sky high. Just to give you an example, at the start of Dragonflight I made over half a million just disenchanting gear and selling the crystals, which at the time would go for over 10k on the auction house, and then quickly dropping to much lower prices, so you wanna catch this wave and take as much benefits from it as you can. Hopefully you managed to find some useful information in this video, if you didn't, feel free to go into the comments and cry about being clickbaited. To everyone else, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the war within. Now get out of here.